ahead and start with the announcements for today. For the most part, school starts off the same every day. But this week, for students at Maryvale High School, getting onto campus looks a little different. It's definitely just a couple seconds. You just take your laptop out of your bag and then walk through and you can go straight to class. And once you start arriving onto campus, they start telling us already, like, take out anything that you might think might go off. I have a little Altoids container, it'll go off. So I just have to take that out. The advanced weapons detection system is focused on items that would cause mass casualty instead of smaller things like cell phones. I feel like it shouldn't have gotten this far, but it's definitely something that is needed. Both students and staff welcome the change. I think it goes to show that safety is a concern in the majority of the schools, but there are things that you can do to prevent certain situations from happening. When you think about where we are as a, in a society, it's a norm. Right, when we go to a con last night I went to a concert downtown Phoenix. I had to walk through these exact same systems. Just this year, students at both pilot high schools brought weapons to campus. At least one student was arrested. And in September of 2022, there was a shooting scare at Central High School. But the district says plans for the advanced weapons detection system were in place long before these incidents. There's always a concern like in the back of my head, but I don't think anyone ever thinks that it's gonna happen on your campus. But with the metal detectors, I think now we know that there's a less likely chance of it happening. It sucks that we're in these times. I wish that we didn't have to get here, but I do believe strongly to my core that schools are the safest place for, for our kids. And if we have to explore these options again just to make our community feel safe, I think that's the best way to go. Based off of the pilot program, the governing board will then decide whether they add detectors to other campuses as well. Yeah, and Alexis, are other schools using the same system right now? Yeah, so most recently, Mesa School Districts announced that they would be using weapon detectors, and those will be set up at Skyline High School. Barado High School was the first in the Agua Fria Union High School District to roll out those weapon detection systems. They use the exact same one, and four other schools in that same district now will also have them in place. Alexis Dominguez in our newsroom. Alexis, thanks. And